Right, Nissan Leaf battery. We've removed all the bolts from the outside. We've had to cut the heads off the safety torques in the center because they were completely and utterly seized and we broke two heads off the um, safety torques while trying to do it. So before you lift any cover off, first of all, you need to have the right safety gear. So you've got to have your insulated gloves, ideally stood on some insulated mats. Also be wearing a face shield and possibly a smock as well, just in case you to happen to open a pack and there's any issues in there with pack expansion and uh, gases coming out, etc., etc. So cover's now quite loose and you'll see there is a sealed rubber gasket on these. And in fact, when they're actually sealed, they're hermetically sealed and they actually have a gas test. There is a gas test which um, pressurizes the battery there to, to check that it doesn't leak. They use that port on it. So I'm just gonna get a colleague of mine to help me lift off the cover. You lift off the cover, using these points here and here on either side. Okay, so now the cover is safely off, let's have a look at the battery. So we've got horizontal and vertical packs. This is a 400 volt battery. We've got our battery monitoring system here, which feeds back into this loom, which feeds back into each individual cell. So we're able to monitor the performance of each cell pack on this vehicle. It will give you a reading using a Nissan diagnostic tool or several other diagnostic tools. We've got thermocouples in the pack as well to detect temperature variation, which would switch off the main control. Um, this is our isolator, which we spoke about before, which actually splits the pack in half pretty much. So it isolates the output voltage. We've then got our relay pack here. So we've got our negative and positive relays. Uh, and also we will have a pre-charge relay somewhere in there. And moving through to the front, that was our main output, our negative and positive. And that is actually the coupler for the BMS system. So we took this pack out because we thought it might have some corrosion issues. It's actually fine. It's in fairly good condition. Um, we're quite happy with this pack, if I'm absolutely honest with you. It's just a bit old and tired. We could then go and strip the pack and check each individual cell out, which is probably what we're going to do. And then we're going to basically look at rebuilding a pack to give it a better voltage. Okay.